Hey guys, and welcome to the first episode of the new series that I'm starting called Rogue Legacy. So we're just gonna dive right into it, just start our legend. Alright, so you can see that we're a knight here. So I've been really, really waiting to play this game, and I've just been waiting for a time to, you know, just go ahead and, you know, start it up. I've been watching a lot of uh, YouTubers playing, a lot of more famous YouTubers, uh, you know, Northern Lion and uh, uh, Green9090, uh, Red Panda Gamer, uh, people like that who have just been playing this game, and they upload every single day. So I decided that, me too, I'm going to upload every single day, so every single day you're going to get like an episode that's like, maybe like 20 to 30 minutes long. Oh wow, I'm already screwing up. I'm already getting jumped by a whole bunch of enemies. No! Die! And we're just gonna see how this goes down. But I'm definitely looking forward to playing this game. You know how much I love roguelike games. Uh, you know, I love Binding of Isaac even though I'm not that good at it. And, yeah, we're just gonna have fun with it. So every single day you're gonna get this uploaded. So, you know, on, da on Daily Daniel's channel you get stuff daily, so... Uh, you know, this will definitely be daily until either A, I beat it or I get tired of the game. Which, uh, I know that there's actually a game plus, you know, I'm more knowledgeable than, uh, a few of the other people who just, who started. Uh, I definitely know a handful of things, so I'm definitely looking forward to doing stuff with you guys. And if you guys want to pick up the game, you guys can get it off of Steam. I believe that it's, like, $15? So, yeah. I definitely think that it's worth the price. And, uh, and after I got a definite, a definite feel for the game, I'm planning on doing maybe like a top list, you know, like a, maybe like a top ten list of top ten things of maybe the ways to make this game even better because, uh, you know, I haven't really played it yet. I really haven't got into it, but, uh, definitely I think it might be one of the, my favorite games of this year. Just how, uh, interesting this game's gonna be. So, jump up here. Uh, break that. Oh, wow. Why'd the money go up there? What the hell? Like, oh, defy gravity. It's like, oh, let's just go up. <laughs> so I'm getting a nice chunk of money for my first run, you know? Generally, people don't get this much money on their first run. And down there is the Land of Darkness, and I'm not ready for that. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, since this is a roguelike, every time you enter this castle, unless you lock it down with the architect, which we have to unlock, um, it'll be randomized, so every time it'll be different, which definitely makes it fun. It's just a jukebox. It plays music. Uh, I'm not even going to deal with it. And then there's four different areas with four different bosses. So you have the castle, which is the first area with a boss, then the forest, then the Maya, which is up top, and then the land of darkness, which is down below. Oh, I got a squire chest plate. So you can unlock, like, recipes. Well, let me finish talking about uh, the land. So, the forest is always to the right, my up above, and land of darkness always below, and we're always starting the castle. And then you beat the four bosses, and then you beat the final boss, and that's the end of the game. But I make it sound more simple than it is, because, you know, you got to get stronger. I mean, as you can see in the top left, I'm level zero right now. So you slowly level up, get stronger, get better equips, unlock more classes, and then you just beat the bosses in the game. Alright, so you saw me get, like, a blueprint. Alright, blueprints are for this character you unlock called the Blacksmith. And the Blacksmith... Ah, uh, god, game, you're just throwing so much at me at the same time and trying to talk about everything. Okay, the Blacksmith will make equipment for you for a fee. And, you know, every time you get the recipes, he gets a new recipe, he can make new things for you. So, that's the Blacksmith, Smith, and we will unlock him. Alright, here is a carnival. Uh, you find these randomly inside, so you can talk to this guy, and he will give you an opportunity to, uh, you know, either do the dagger test or the act test, so test your dexterity, so this is the dagger test, so I use 10 daggers to destroy 8 targets. Um, who wants to see me fail, because, oh my god, I don't think I can do this. Oh my god, I suck at this, I really do. Oh, I got one. Uh, might be easier if I go from below. But, oh yeah, this is gonna be hard for me. Damn it! Jump now. Damn, that was so close. Holy crap! Just, just throw. Oh wow, and I just randomly throw it and get it. Hold up, hold up. I can, I can get a few more. I can get a few more. 
No, I can't. I got one more throw. Go. Shit. Yeah, screw, screw the dexterity test. I know I couldn't hit eight targets. Screw you, stupid cloud. <laughs> so, yeah. Nice chunk of change for the first run, you know. 870, you can't complain about that. So, uh, there's, a, there's a few game references in here, so I'm going to probably point them out. But I'm definitely looking forward to playing this game for you guys. I'm not sure how I'm going to record it. I definitely know it's going to go up once a day, but I'm not sure how, me, myself, I'm going to record it. I'm going to record it, like, like a half an hour each day, or... Uh, maybe, like, sit down and just play a whole bunch. I'm not sure yet, but, uh, you know, I definitely wanted to do this game for you guys, so you get this game every day at 1.30. So, you know, if you guys can, uh, show your support with this series by, you know, giving it a like, telling your friends that I'm playing this game, you know, pick it up yourself. If you guys have any hints for me and stuff like that, uh, be sure to comment and tell me. Uh, I'll read your hints. I'm not sure if I'll take all your hints to heart because I pretty much know how I want to play. So, I'm going to try to go with my own way, but I would definitely, uh, you know, consider your hints. I know, uh, some people are just saying, like, straight up, like, don't tell me anything. I know definitely, like, uh, biz snap. So take no damage. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get through this. Uh, you guys think I should get this? I mean, if I get through this, you get a fairy chest, and a fairy chest will give you a ruin, which you get the, uh... One lady, I forgot what she was called. Fuck. Okay, well, fuck that up. So, uh, uh, I forgot what she, what her name was. Anyway, she can put like ruins on your equipment. Well, I remember her name when I unlock her. And ruins would just give you bonuses on your equipment. And you get ruins in those fairy chests. Ah, uh, stupid skeletons! Don't screw you guys. I'm gonna see what's over here. So every time you get those uh, those tests, they say like, uh, "Wow, you two are over here camping that, and then you two are over here camping this." Well, at least you backed up a little bit, but ah, uh, God, you guys are just camping. I believe if you leave the room, it'll reset. So, uh, duck under that. Come here, ghost. Smack you in the face with my sword. This is a good first run. Like, I'm glad I'm recording this, because this is an awesome first run. No, I'm not even close to being dead. I'm getting a lot of money. Blueprint? Oh, just gold. More gold. Oh my god, yes. 1,500 on the first run. Look at me, look at me, look at me. This is awesome. Like, this is some serious bank. Like, some people can't even make, like, over a 1,000 when they get, like, actual, like, choice of characters and actual level ups. Oh, got that Doombus. Oh, I could've dodged that. That was my bad. I could've dodged that too. I'm messing up now. I was talking all that game, now I'm just messing up. Trying to me not mess this up. Ah. Ah. So right now, it is only this game is only on PC, so... No, it's not on Xbox if you're gonna ask me, or or PlayStation Network or anything like that. Only only PC. But the cool thing is that you can uh, you now plug in your Xbox controller. Not sure about PlayStation. Um, if you could plug in PlayStation 3 controller, that'd be awesome. Cause you know I'd rather play this on the PlayStation 3 controller. Uh, Cause you know I'd rather have like the D-pad across from the uh, buttons. And that's just how I feel. I would enjoy it better. Because right now I'm kind of using the toggle. I mean, the toggle is nice and all, but I'd rather be using the D-pad. But when it comes to the D-pad, the D-pad's not on the same plane level-wise as the button. So it feels kind of weird to me. But, uh, you know, D-pad's fine. I mean, I mean, toggle's fine. So, so like I said, pick it up on Steam for 15 Uh link will be in the description if you really want it. I definitely recommend this game, even though I haven't even played it yet, because I'm just having a blast right now, and I really haven't even done anything yet. I haven't even, you know, really gotten into the game yet, and I'm already enjoying myself. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say, there's magic in this game, so... Uh, one of the sp you have a spell right there, up in the top corner, right under my how much money I have. You, And I can use them, it costs me 10 MP right now, I have 100 MP, so I'll just show you right now. So I throw a dagger, this character, there's many different spells. So the only reason why I showed you is because, you know, I can just get some more MP from that. 
But we are doing really well. Drop down here. Kill this Zombro. We got another. Oh, whew! That was close. Oh, another Zombro. Jump up here, kill him. Unlock this, and we get a blood cape. Alright. So, the blood gear, that's definitely what I'm going to try to go for, is the blood gear. Uh, they give you vampirism, and vampirism basically is, like, for every enemy you kill, you get some HP back. It lowers your health, but, uh, uh, you know, if I had vampirism right now, I'd be healing every time I kill an enemy, you know. I've, I've been mostly killing more than I've been getting hit, so, you know, that might be really good for me. So, that's the... That's the gameplay I'm going to try out. Some people are doing vampirism, some people are not. Uh, but like I said, uh, really was looking forward to playing this game. I've been, I've watched like hours of this each day. Like, I, I sit there and I watch like maybe like, oh, the Night Sword? I watch like a half an hour of Northern Lion, like a half an hour of Green 9090. So, uh, you know, just, just love watching this game. So, I think maybe maybe like a half an hour each day will be fine. Oh, no, I already went that way. Which way haven't I gone? I haven't gone that way. Alright. Oh, I forgot already. Alright, so down. And then down here. Over here. But yeah, this is, this is a great first run. Like, almost 2,000 gold on your first run. Like, some people wish they were that lucky. And I don't think it's skill... Oh. A little bit of skill, a little bit of luck, you know. I was playtesting and I did face much harder rooms than I just straight up died to. So I haven't faced out. Oh, that was my bad. I thought I would land on the bookshelf. Apparently I, I didn't. So I'm getting kind of close to dying here. This seems like this up here might be the boss room. Oh, nope. I thought maybe it'd be the boss room. You know. So I'm getting close to dying. Oh, healed up a little bit. Oh god, this room. This room right here. This room might be the end of me. And you guys don't want me to die, right? <laughs> you guys are like, die, motherfucker, die! <laughs> Alright, a few more gold. Hit the skeleton a little bit, walk back, let that drop. Just looking for the boss room. No, I'm probably not gonna face the boss on this run. Oh, that was my bad. But, uh, definitely won't just make it there for the free stuff. Wow, I jumped. I jumped, but I jumped too late. Oh, right, well, finally I died. So, like I said, pretty good first run. I mean, look at that, look at that. So, uh, we're gonna go for maybe another run or two. So. Alright, so now I can choose my air. Alright, so let's try to choose our air. Alright, I turned up the uh, sound effects a little bit. Um, they might be a little bit too loud, so... Here we have three children we can choose from, and then they each have their own traits and their own class. And this is Indite, that's a hypochondriac, which means he tends to exaggerate, uh, Lady Chun-Li. <laughs> then we got Sir Mick Gladier, Derry. <laughs> he has EDS, so he's very flexible, and he has PAD, which is peripheral arterial disease, so no foot pulse, which would be really useful, so I might choose that, although I'm not really a fan of the knave. And we got Lady Faye here, who uh, has ADHD, so very intergenetic, and uh, dementia, so she's insane. So I think I'm going to go with uh, Knave, because, uh, you know, that disease and the EDS might be really good. So, thinking maybe the sound effects might be a little bit too loud, but I can turn that down with editing. So, here we have our unlock screen, so... We use our gold that we got from the last run to uh, unlock things here, so we pay 50 gold to unlock the smith. So, smithy unlock. The blacksmith can build the finest equipment in the world, turning you into a veritably virtuous, violent villain vaporizer. Gathering blueprints will give him an even wider array of assorted arrayment arrayments for your armory. Sorry. <laughs> so... And then we just build up a castle, so we can pay 60 gold to um, increase our mana, but eh, I'm not really a mana guy. I don't even, yeah, so, as you guys saw from my last run, I don't use magic a lot. I'd rather use just my sword, alright? So we can pay 60 gold to improve our health, which will unlock more of the castle, so of course. 
and then we can pay some more to un upgrade on that. I mean, we got a nice chunk of money, so I can do a lot of upgrades here. So, you know, I'm going to pay to upgrade the knight. So, class upgraded. Promote your knights into paladins. Through vigorous training, paladins have learned how to block blows from any direction. So now I can press Y to block with my shield. It uses up a little bit of mana, but you know, it's not like I really use my mana for anything else. So, yeah. And then we can upgrade this to increase our weight load. Um, you know, each one of your armors that you get from the smith costs the amount of weight, so, uh, you know, the more weight you can carry, the better armor you can have. So, I'll upgrade that, just to unlock more of the castles. Now we unlock these two side ones, which is our Enchantress, that was her name, Enchantress, and then our Architect, so. I'm gonna unlock our Enchantress, so we can put ruins on our stuff, so. Start off with that. The Enchantress can empower your body with magical ruins, making your you better, stronger, faster, jumpier, jumpier, jumpier a word? Find runes to increase her repertoire of body modifying talents. Her crystal ball is just for show. Alright, we got that. So we can increase our magical damage, which I probably won't do because, you know, I'm not into magic. Or we can upgrade our mage, which I probably won't do because I really don't want to be a mage. Uh, we gotta unlock our arc attack. I'm probably gonna lean towards the left side to unlock more of those classes. So. Unlo architect on luck. The architect can lock down a, ca a castle down and prevent it from changing. Like the layout of the castle, lock it down. Just make sure you can afford his fee. He doesn't charge you initially. He takes 30% of the castle. So if he locks it down, every gold you get, you'll get 30% less. And the monsters respawn, but your chest don't respawn. So uh, you pretty much just use him for boss runs. All right. So we can upgrade the barbarian and uh, make him a, a barbarian king. Give him a a Fusroda shout, or we can increase our damage. So right now, I'm gonna exit to the manor. I might be back. Um, get some ruins up on my equipment. Oh, I'm so used to pressing like A to talk to people. Hello, hero. Can I borrow your car? F I mean, oh, that looks like a C. That looks like a C. Can I borrow your ear for a moment? Tell me that doesn't look like a C. Like, can you borrow my car for a moment? I, one, how do you know I have a car? And two, wait, cars aren't invented in this time yet. Can I borrow your ear for a moment? I'm in need of your help. I used to be a very powerful enchantress, but one day the monsters of this castle invaded my dreams and stole my knowledge. They encased the knowledge in ruins, and without those ruins, I suck at my job. Please, Hero, if you can find any ruins, bring them back to me, and then I'll sell them back to you at a profit. Alright, so here we have some of the ruins, so we can actually just buy one of the ruins right here. So I'm going to start off with getting these two ruins. So here we have the sprint rune, which gives me like a dash ability by pressing the trigger, so I'm definitely going to get and equip that. And then here we have a double jump rune, which I'm definitely going to get that, so make me more mobile. So now I can double jump, and then I can channel my inner Mega Man to dash. So the way the what trigger direction I what trigger I press is the direction I go in. So if I press the left trigger right now, I go left. If I press the right trigger, I go right. So I can slide backwards. I can do that electric slide. And now we're going to talk to Smith. Welcome, hero. Maybe you can help me. I used to be the greatest blacksmith in all the land, but one day the monsters of this castle attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints. Without those blueprints, I can only make cutlery and stuff. Please bring back any blueprints you find, and I can build the most amazing equipment ever. Ever! At a price, of course. <laughs> so, as you can see here, he has swords, he has helmets, he has chest plates and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to unlock, like, the uh, blood cape. I said I wanted to do that. It gave me my vampires on, so I'm going to unlock and equip that. Lowers my HP, but you know what? It's fine, because, you know, uh, I definitely want to just, you know, try to do the blood stuff. And in here he has a knight sword and a squire sword. So, uh, you know, what? I'll, I'll dish out for a little bit more damage. So, we're, we're starting to use up all our money here. Can we get anything else? We can get this helmet. No. Because our weight load would be way too much because of this, the cape. Uh, no. Alright, well, I think I got some of that. So we're going to go back here to the manor and see if there's anything else I can upgrade. So I can get weight up, HP up, uh, attack up. Uh, I can't get anything twice. I don't think. Uh... You know what, I think I might just get, like, uh... Oh, I can get this up, and... No, I can't get that up either. HP up! Should I get HP up? Yeah, I'm gonna need my HP up for the blood gear, so, you know, HP up. 
There we go. And I think that's all I can purchase from anybody. I believe so, anyway. Yeah, I think everything else is too expensive. Yep, alright. So, sorry for this talking spiel, but I think we're ready to go back inside the castle. So, here we have Mr. Sharon, or Charon. So, one must pay the toll. Alright, the way that makes this game definitely interesting is that every time you enter the castle, you have to pay Charon all your gold to get back into the castle. I mean, I know you're thinking that's unfair, but it's really fair because, um, if you think about it, these are heirs. So, every time I enter a castle, I'm getting the son or daughter of the person who died in the castle. So, um, you know, Charon believes that if I give you my all my money, you know, it's fair because, you know, no one's returned. So, you know, I pay the toll. I give him my remaining 90 gold. Couldn't do anything with it anyway and walk back into the castle. Alright, so... Huh. I'm still not getting, like, the whole sound effect thing. Like, uh, Huh, I have no idea, you know... Maybe the knight would be making, like, grunt noises and stuff? Oh, God. Oh, God. See, see, I told you this game is going to be trying to do me dirty, so... <sighs> you know what? Screw it. Double jump and dash over. Oh, missed that. So, knaves are definitely one of my least favorite classes in the game because they have low HP. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. I'll try to figure that out for the next episode, but, uh... You know, I have the sound effects fully on, but when I try to go, like, in here, there's no sound effects. Like, I, I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe I gotta, like, update the game or something, but, uh... So, we have Blood Gear, so now you can see that it says 2 HP. So, like I said, every time I get a kill, I get... I record some HP. But, uh, right now I'm a Knave, and... Knaves are one of my least favorite classes in the game, because they have low HP. They have high crit rate, but I'm not really a fan of crit rate. So it's kind of like, meh. So I'm definitely glad that I got those runs. Those runs will probably be on me for a long time, because, you know, I definitely like to double jump in games and stuff, and I definitely enjoy the whole Mega Man thing, the Mega Man Dash. Can't complain about Mega Man Dash. It'll be definitely helpful when, uh, you know, getting out of certain situations and fighting bosses and stuff, so. Ah, there we go. So let's see, he does have a high crit rate. He hits really hard. Take no damage. Alright. Uh, I'm not even sure if I can even get up to that. I mean, might as well attempt it. Wow. The character kind of just slid right into it. It's okay. It's whatever. So we're going to unlock the Doom... Well, awaken the Doom Vest. See, I'm already low on HP already. Uh, I'm pretty strong already. Maybe I can eventually heal some of my HP. Uh, definitely not just finding as many things. Oh yeah, I forgot that I had the uh, uh, disease where I have no foot pulse. So see, I can walk on the whole trap activation and it won't activate anything. Jump over that. Kill him. I haven't really found any chests yet. So. Reach me in four seconds. Oh shit. Oh shit. I got it. I got it. Alright, so we unlocked the curse room for the cape. Alright, so... It's cool that we're gonna get to have some, uh, runs. So those, that was like a fairy chest, so... Uh, you know... Oh! Oh! Ooh, ooh, that was close. I should time that better. Wow, okay, sure, game. The game just bounced me right into that. Ah, oh, shit! That was terrible. That was terrible. Uh, I was killed. So we're gonna try to do maybe w one more run. You know, you hear, like, the effect out here, but you don't really hear it in the game. So we got a barbarian who has his HP... His, his dextrocardia, so his HP and MP pool swap. It definitely sucks, but, uh, you know, he does have that no-foot pulse. Uh, we have a mage with EDS, so he's very flexible, and we have a knave who's stereo blind, can't see in 3D, so you get, instead of, like, that turnaround animation, you kind of get, like, the Paper Mario thing, so I'm gonna try the Barbarian, despite him being Dextrocardius, and that kind of sucks, but, but it's better than nothing, and, uh, I'm gonna go out and see if there's anything I can buy from here, so, uh, see, so, since my HP and MP pool are swapped, it kind of sucks. Uh... 
I really can't afford anything. I'll probably get a weight up, and then next time I'll buy uh, maybe a helmet or something. So I only got 50 HP, so that definitely sucks with a barbarian. You had to be Dexter Cardius, didn't you? So I can't do nothing with 90 gold, so Sharon, you can have it, and then we're going to go back inside the castle. So, I'm sure what's up with the whole sound effect thing. I'm going to definitely try to get that fixed for the next episode. But, yeah. Well, oh, I should read these journal entries. Alright, so, journal entry number one. Treason, an assassin has wounded my father the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together, we will venture into the Cursed Woods and enter the Cancel Hampton. We're in Cancel Hampton right now. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of woods since time immemorial, but rumors say that within it dwells an item which could cure any ailment. Tonight, I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. Alright, so as we go through this castle, we're going to find like these journal entries. And basically, the journal entries are going to fuck. The energy en entries aren't gonna fuck, okay? Uh, they're gonna tell us, uh, basically the story of, uh, Rogue Legacy. Oh my god, these eyeballs. Double jump, get me out of here. Okay, whoo! That was close. So, I'm a barbarian with low health, but I got a big MP pool, so I might actually use my spells. But like I said, I'm not really a fan of spells. Oh, you sneaky little ghastly. Oh god, I didn't know they could shoot through the wall. Generally, they can't. Oh my god, get me out of here. Get me out of here before I just die straight up. Oh, that was obvious that it was a Doombus. Oh my god! Ah! Oh, oh, that was close. I almost died there. Whew, that was close. No fighting. Oh, I'm not sure if I can get up there without dying. Oh my god. Whew. Oh my god. Oh my god, move you stupid knight! No, 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 no! Whew. Uh, ah! I can't fight! How do I. Got, ah! Fuck! Oh my god, that's terrible. I should have never attempted that. Alright, we're gonna try one more run. You know, it definitely sucks that his HP and MP pool were switched, so. Oh, we got a mage, not interested, a paladin with boldness and OCD. I might choose him. You know, I like paladins. Or barbarian with just no traits at all. Oh, we'll try the. Paladin. So, I don't think I got enough money to unlock anything. Oh, I can get my mana up. Ooh, that's pretty much all I got. Can I get any equipment? Yeah, like I said, I don't think I got enough to get anything. Uh, oh, I can get the helmet. Yep, I can get the helmet, so I'll probably unlock that. Armor's too much. Uh, nope, nope, we're gonna buy the helmet. And equip it. There we go. So now we got... Uh, a little bit more HP. She wants something. I believe that we unlocked the ruin. Yeah. Harder enemies for greater rewards. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll roll with that. No, I'm not having a hard enough time already. Alright, so, uh, let's enter. So now since we're playing as the Paladin, we can press, well, for the Xbox controller, the Y button, and, uh, I'll be able to block attacks at the cost of some MP. So this guy has OCD, which is awesome, because, you know, Every time I destroy one of the furnitures, uh, I get one MP back, so, you know, I was probably going to do that anyway, ran right into that zombie like a, a derp. Unlock a chest, get, get some more gold, definitely, because I don't think I got any chest the last run. Or the run before, I'm not, I can't remember the run before, but no. It wasn't as good as the first one, it's just kind of ironic. <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm level 8. You level up from uh, buying things in the manor. So, you know. Oh, I'm not even going to try it again. Screw it. I'm, I don't think I'm skilled enough to do that yet. Drop down. Uh, I'm getting juggled on this thing. Oh, there goes all my MP. I got completely juggled and lost all my MP. Whatever. It's not like I was using it anyway, but, uh, you know, I definitely would like to keep it. Alright, we're going to get some recovery. So I believe it's like every few seconds that you hold it, uh, you know, you just lose some MP. So uh, while I was getting juggled, it's not like for every time it hit me, it was like for every few seconds. So I believe it was like two seconds. Drop down here. You know, if I gotta channel my inner Mega Man, I will. Whew, that was cool. Drop 
down here. Not much in here. So I'm definitely gonna try to destroy this furniture, because, you know, I get MP back for every furniture I destroy, and you know what? They can drop coins. So, you know, get that two-for-one special going on. Or I could just run into something like that. Alright, well, I believe that this will lead me down to the land of darkness. Definitely don't want to go there. So let's see. Uh, sh you know, I'm just gonna teleport. So here we have these teleporters, and we could just teleport back to another location, channel inner Mega Man, and just take off. So that makes the sound effects, but uh, for some reason, just hitting and grunting and stuff like that in this game aren't making the sound effects. Jump over that, beat that. So the vampirism is good. Definitely would like to get some more. Kill the Doom Vast. Oh, I killed him in one hit. That's nice. Oh. Uh, that would be nice to get strong enough to you know, just kill things in one hit. Doing well so far. You know, this runs past a half an hour so far, which is perfectly fine. It's not going to last much longer, so this will definitely be the last run for today. I don't want to make the episodes too long. Double jump and Mega Man Dash! Ooh, I'm just killing him in one hit now. This is nice. So. Uh, you know, I might want to end this run off with something nice, so, um, you know, I'm, if I find the boss, I'll definitely fight the boss. And that's how we'll end this run. If I find it. If I find it. That's a, that's a big if. You know? Uh... Get me out of here. Alright, we're gonna come back into this room and do it again. So, if you walk out of a room, the enemies reset themselves, but, uh... The enemies that died will stay dead, but the enemies who got hurt will be healed. So that's the way that goes. I kind of freaked that room up, but nah, I was kind of panicking. <laughs> should have used my shield more. I, I should definitely use my shield more. I keep on forgetting that I have the shield. Hit the Doom Doomvus, which I believe is uh, a combination between Doom and Canvas, I believe. You know. And here we got another journal entry, so I'm gonna have to read that. Alright, journal entry number two. Although I'm not the eldest child, although I'm the eldest child, I'm not my father's favorite. I've always known he planned to leave me with nothing. But if I find a cure, everything will change. The victor will earn nothing less than the throne upon his passage. Upon my ascension, my wife, my children shall move back into the royal quarters, back to the royal city where we once again will be treated with the respect we deserve. No longer will I stand for the gossip and petty slander of my cousins, the other dukes shall bow as we pass, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I must keep my priorities clear. Conquer the cra castle, find the cure, collect my reward. Alright, so... Oh, we found the boss room. Alright, so... Uh, get a little bit more HP, and we're just gonna try to take the boss. And then we'll end this episode. So whether I win or lose, this will be the final run. So, uh, you know, I think I'm fairly decent to go against this boss. So, we are going up against... The Gatekeeper, Kadir, or Kidder, or how are you, how you say his name. Oh, I'm down. It just sounds weird without, you know, the, the grunting and the sound effects. Up, 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 up. Mega Man Dash. Up, oh, up, oh, this time. Yeah, I believe I'm doing fair, fairly decently. Haven't got hit yet. Ooh, that was close. I almost ran right into that. Oh, should have used my shield there. Wow, I, I pressed Y. I pressed Y for the shield. Alright, well, I've been killed. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to call this one a run. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Rogue Legacy. And I'll try to get that whole audio thing fixed. I'm not sure what's up with that. But uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Like I said, every day we'll get this. The uh, episodes will be between 20 and 30 minutes. Support this series by giving me a, a like on this video. And, you know, I'm just li definitely looking forward to playing more of this game with you guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.